is good, Hollow Squad? We are ah, the Little Squad on the YouTube platform. This is today we're back with another reaction, and we got Growing Up in Africa Part Two. All right, now I ain't seen Part One, but we are gonna watch Part Two today because I was traveling through the city of Atlanta trying to find some nice uh, goosey soup, and guess what? I couldn't find it, bro. I was pissed. And for those who dabble in African cuisine, I got one question for you: Who make the best jollof rice, bro? Nigeria. I don't know. It's a discussion, but listen, listen. I'm gonna be eating African food every time I see it. But before we hop into this, make sure I like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff, and uh, let's hop into this. Stereotype. If you move to the U.S. from a foreign country, you have 100% been a victim of stereotype. Mm. By far, some of the dumbest, craziest shit I've ever heard, and for some reason, people believe it. So I'm gonna tell you some of the ones that I've heard and personally have to deal with. Number one, we only travel by animals. Now. Who, the Who thinks Africans travel by animals, bruh? Y'all think they just trucking through the world on a freaking camel like these? You're done, all right? That's crazy. Started this because my entire elementary and middle school year, every person in my class believed I was traveling to and from school on a pterodactyl. A fucking pterodactyl. The dinosaur that's, that's been extinct for a million years? I remember this one time a kid saw me get in my mom's car before school and he almost looked disappointed. Like he really believed my mom was <laughs> swerving through traffic on a pterodactyl. But no, she wasn't. She was whipping her 2000 whatever the f Honda Civic. Oh my God, they can drive. Number two, we all have super strength and stamina. Now this, this, this is almost true because I've that's seen some genetically modified freak athlete Nigerians in my life, but that's about like 95% of them. There's another 5% that I call the me's. Like I'm what your average white woman thinks when you say African child. Like you remember those penny a day commercials? Nick, nigga, that's <laughs> me. That is me right there. Countless times in my life, I've been compared to an Enderman. And no matter how much I eat, no matter how many push-ups I do, no matter how how many steroids I try to inject into my body, I will always be built like an Enderman. But then there's other Africans out there, like my roommate named Brian. This nigga, this- Bro, it's the food, bro. I promise you. I don't know what is an African food, but listen, that joint gonna have you swole, bro. Man child is built like those Greek statues that you see on your way to church. And I've never in my life seen this man do a push up, a sit up. All he does is eat Mike and Ice and drink Sprite. And for some reason, this nigga is built like Black Panther. Number <laughs> three, we have no technology. Really? We That's have crazy. no technology. Like the kids really believed my parents would drop me off in a pterodactyl. They pick me up. I go home to my mud house with no Wi-Fi, no light, no showers, and somehow get homework done. Like that, that doesn't even add up. Number four, we only wear traditional attire. Now let me explain how every conversation about this stereotype went. Whoa, what are you wearing? A regular shirt? What happened? Where's like, like your real clothes? My real clothes? Yeah, like, like your lion hats and your, your zebra shirts and like your elephant tusks crowns like <laughs> niggas really expect me to show up to a school looking like a nigerian warlock number five everyone speaks in clicks honestly i can't even tell you how many times now that's racist that's racist all right anybody out here doing them they're racist bro get them out of here and this exact situation has happened to me. Yo, bro, are you African? Yeah, I'm actually from Nigeria. Wait, shut up, nigga. Can you speak African? I mean, like, that's not really. Stop me, not me, not. What did I say? Number six, all <laughs> Africans do magic? Honestly, as oh, a kid, I, I believed in this one too. Because back then, Haitian my parents used to watch Nollywood. Not Hollywood, Nollywood. Nigerian Hollywood. And all these movies always had the exact same plot. Somebody wants a wish, some random warlock with white face paint would grant it for them, the wish would backfire, and boom, that's the movie. But as a kid, that used to scare the shit out of me. Like from ages one to 10, my biggest fear was those African warlocks. Number seven, Africa is just a war zone. Honestly, I can't even count the amount of times someone has asked me how I escaped from Africa. That's Bro, you're crazy. from Africa, right? <sighs> yeah. Wait, how'd you escape? What? Isn't there like an ongoing war with the elephant and giraffe tribes? Huh? Ah, your English isn't very good. I'm asking you, how did you get here? Nigga, the airport? Y'all have- Bro, we wasn't that dumb in school, bro. I don't think anybody, at least I didn't, think people were escaping from Africa. Have those? 
Number eight. Africans only eat exotic foods. The amount of times I brought food from home to school, and as soon as I opened my lunchbox, the BS started. Bro, what's that? Did you just hunt that down? Is that giraffe meat? <laughs> Are those spear marks? Do you eat it raw? Have you tried squirrel? Like this one time, I brought one of my favorite foods to school, which is called gyari, and it's this white well, grainy thing that. that you mix with cold water and sugar, and it's so simple, but it is so good. And all it took was- Hold on, what's was it called? Cold water and sugar foods to school, which is called Gary. And I don't know. That don't look like too appetizing, but I might have to try it. Okay, yeah, it's a couple African spots. I'm gonna have to travel freaking 35 minutes to get there, but. I'm gonna see if they have this. And it's this white grainy thing that you mix with cold water and sugar, and it's so simple, but it is so good. And all it took was one kid to ruin that food for me. So first like of all, bricks. I have to explain. To pack Gary and bring it to school, you have to separate all three of the components, so when you get to school, you mix together to eat. Meaning that my Gary, my water, and the sugar were all in separate containers. So on this day, during lunchtime, I open my lunchbox, I take out my Gary, and before I can even explain myself, the kid next to me turns, and he goes, Yo, Oh, ain't no way this nigga's eating sand. Immediately, <laughs> everyone turns to me, and I feel everyone's eyes just on me. But I just got out of recess, so I'm hungry, so I'm like, let me just ignore him. Dumbass plan. Because when I take up my water and pour it into the bowl, I don't even get to realize how bad I fucked up. Because all I hear is, yo, this nigga's eating sand mixed with water. <laughs> At this point, I'm too deep in. And if I look up, I'm going Bro, to- Bro, and if you put the sugar in the sand water, is crazy to die from embarrassment so i just lock in i get the sugar and i pour it in and this is when i realize yeah i fucked up please please chill no way bro chill just go oh my god please bro just like let me make it nah bro i'm picking you bro please please bro i'll suck yo this nigga eating sand and water bro please <laughs> with sugar my nigga bro this guy <laughs> this guy picked up the sand on the way to school he eating he eating sweet sand oh oh my god these africans are different nah that's crazy i couldn't even imagine What's the craziest thing I think I ever took to school for like a minute? I don't know, because I only had things from American stores, so I didn't really bring to school things that was different. But the sand joint, that is crazy, bro. I couldn't, bro. I, I, I'm going to have to try it, though. I'm going to look up the African places around me, because usually I be eating like the a goosey soup, bro. Uh, the pepper, pepper soup. It's pepper soup, I think it's called. Um, that, that'd be my main two. The, the plantains from Africa or from African restaurants, they definitely better than the plantains from Jamaican restaurants, but both of those are better than the plantains from Haitian restaurants because Haitian restaurants got some trash plantains, bro. It is what it is. If anybody want to fight me, you're going to have to catch me. Listen, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. If y'all enjoyed this video and until the next time I see y'all. So when the metal hit his mug, he just sunk in place. 100k holla, chillin' Bahamas. Come home to your crib and throw in your mama.